Hi, everyone. This is Leslie Suzette and Sprawly Natural here. All things beauty, all things fragrance, all things self-care. I want to come and do an unboxing and compare three fragrances, okay? Um, so I I'm just going to do this real quick. So I'll see you when we get back. Hi, I'm back, Leslie Suzette. I have one goal in mind, you all, and that is to inspire as many of you as I can to be your most best and most beautiful selves, both inside and out. So I had to come real quick and do this video because I have received um, some fragrances based on your recommendations on my live. And I wanted to get here and get it done uh, on my first one of my lives with one of my cousins, Portia, uh, she ended up, her number one fragrance ended up being, yes, Burberry Goddess, Burberry Goddess. Uh, and Burberry Goddess has notes of, uh, I believe, vanilla, vanilla absolute, lavender, cacao, and ginger. Just beautiful lavender, beautiful vanilla, just a beautiful, sweet, creamy, and floral fragrance. She really, really enjoyed this one. So I had to put this one on a strip, but I also have the bottle here with a little teensy weensy left. And I wanted to uh, go ahead and get the fragrances that you all recommended and do a quick video on it. So I did pick up the uh, by Mason Alhambra, Athena. Okay. And Athena, it says that it has notes of, um, let's see. Yeah. A lot of, lot of notes. Mate, a note I've never heard of. Mate, M-A-T-E, which is a note that gives like this herbaceous, uh, green type fragrance. It has cypress and thyme and green, saffron, fruit. And then in the mid, it has jasmine, orris, and rose. And then in the base, it has uh, amber, lavender, vanilla, musk, vetiver, and cedar. And you all, when I smell it against the, the Burberry Goddess, I get some, but this one is so much sweeter, so much. It does have that leather in it. And it's just, it's just, it's not, it's not quite, in my opinion, uh, super close to Burberry Goddess. But I also got in the mail uh, this box. And this is the Ag Angham uh, by Latafa. And it's also supposed to smell like Burberry Goddess. So I want to find out real quick if it does. So I want to do an unboxing right before your eyes. I'm excited. Um, I saw the bottle and it's supposed to be a beautiful bottle. Here's the box. And Latafa always has beautiful bottles. Look at this. Look at this. Would you look at that? Now, it's got music notes on it, you all. Musical notes. I don't know if you can see that, but it is an absolutely gorgeous bottle. Look at the side. And again, musical notes on the back. And let's see how we open it. It's easy. You just lift the top. It's not heavy. I mean, but it's not super plasticky either. And let's go ahead and spray this one. Let's see. I better. Yeah, that has. Let me get another one, y'all. I'm just curious to see what this one smells like, too. Let's see. And let's see. Atomize is nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. That's lighter. Much lighter. Much lighter. And I got a feeling this is going to be much closer. Yeah, much closer. This one is much closer, in my opinion, than the Athena, much, much closer than the Athena. Let's look at the notes for Ang Angham. Angham or Angham, Angham, 
Yeah. So the notes for this one is much closer, you all, to the Burberry goddess. Yeah, much closer to the Burberry goddess. Yeah, wow. This one, the Angham, the Angham by Latafa has notes of pink pepper, mandarin, orange, and ginger. And then the mid, it has praline, lavender, cacao, jasmine. And then it has vanilla, amber, and musk. Much, 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 much closer. Uh, all of the notes that are in Burberry Goddess, I believe they have, and they just add the pink pepper, uh, does it, the amber, and the musk. Yeah, because it has the, and the mandarin, which really makes this, it really uh, projects. Of course, you have those citruses, and they just project, make the, the fragrance project so well. Yeah, this is very nice, you all. Very nice. Not this, not to say that Athena isn't, it's just a different nice. It's just a different nice, a perfect fall vanilla fragrance, in my opinion. Uh, very perfect for fall and such a beautiful bottle at that. But yeah, it's got a denser, heavier, uh, and it's got the vetiver and all that stuff in it, which makes it much heavier and uh, denser and greener, in my opinion. This one, to me, is giving me 85% Burberry Goddess, maybe. The orange is, you know, of course, very um, fruit, uh, citrusy and um, making it very bright making it a very bright light fragrance, but yeah. Um, yeah, it's much closer to me, maybe even, maybe even 90% you all. So yeah, I just wanted to get on real quick and test all of these out uh, to see how close it came to the Burberry Goddess. And you all, hey, not bad. These houses, these Middle Eastern houses, they're doing it. I mean, I would wear this because it's beautiful. The vanilla is nice and uh, uh, just rich to me. And this one is nice and light and very, very close to Burberry Goddess, in my opinion. Okay, you all, um, I just wanted to stop by. Um, a quick, you know, words of inspiration, whatever you put your hands to do, go ahead and do it with all your might. Don't settle for less. Go for the gusto. I always like to turn and look at my wall. Think big, dream big. Listen, if you can't dream big and think big, you, you got you to gotta raise your level of expectation because God has created you to do great things. So raise that level of expectation, think big, dream big, and go for the gusto. Well, thanks so much. All things beauty, all things fragrance, all things self-care. I have one goal in mind, and that is to inspire as many of you as I can to be your most best and most beautiful selves, both inside and out. Go ahead and subscribe, like, share, and hit that notification bell. I'll see you next time. Just want to be quick. Bye.